Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Hills here with you today. Right now, I'm gonna show you a full transparent view of how I was able to make over $30,000 from some other guy's tweet. I just saw a tweet going viral. There's a lot of lessons you're gonna be able to learn from this video because I made a bunch of mistakes doing this. So unfortunately, my profit wasn't too much, just like a couple thousand dollars over 20 days. So I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process in this video and my thinking and methodology of why I knew this would work. Like, I, if you guys saw me on Instagram when I first made this store, I told you like this is for sure gonna win. I knew it from the from the beginning because I only focus on selling one product at a time and viral products only. And again, if you do want more information on that, check out my link below, simplifieddropshipping.com. Oh, and also if you guys could just smash that like button right now, I'd super, super, super appreciate it. I'm literally showing you the product, my process and everything. So if you could just hit that like button for me right now, I would super appreciate it. Now let's get right into it. So I have all the tabs pulled up right now just because they're working on the internet and it literally sucks in my room. I can barely get any reception, if any at all. So I pulled up all the tabs and they're in chronological order so you can see my thing. Uh, so I was scrolling through Twitter one day and I found this ad right here by Josh Goldblum from Cinepocalypse. And he says, and the award for the best iPhone case goes to, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I wonder if this product is on AliExpress. And I'm gonna try to search it actually right now. I didn't pull that up. But again, the internet's pretty slow, so it might take a while. It's not loading. I'm not gonna go into the trouble of running upstairs and loading in and coming back down, but basically is I searched Arnold iPhone case on AliExpress and I found it. It was $5 with ePacket, I think $2 without ePacket. I did $5 with ePacket. And so what I did was I quickly made a store. Here's the store right here called the ArnoldCase.com. Now, if you guys know my story, I don't know how many of you uh, watching this are new to me or already know what I'm into, but nowadays in 2019, 2020, I'm focused on branded one product dropshipping only. So I bought the domain, the ArnoldCase.com, and I just loaded some pictures on it. I just found some pictures and I was very quick. I go, the Arnold case, this is the only case we sell because this is the only case you need because this case is kind of like a meme and I knew my target audience. It's just a meme kind of case. It's a funny case. So I knew I didn't have to put too much work into the descriptions. Then I do protect the phone and the world. This case is as strong as Arnold himself, made out of extremely durable silicon, protects your phone while feeling secure and comfortable in the hands. Be the envy of literally everyone who purchased today. And then I made it clear right here, free shipping. And I also made it clear up here, free shipping as well. And then I charged $20 uh, free shipping. So my total profit margin is $15 kind of low that's why i'm actually revealing this to all you guys right now it's because i'm i'm more concerned with products that are at least like a 30 dollars profit margin 20 to 30 15 is pretty low but it really depends it's a unilateral kind of a uni gender mainly men actually but unilateral product you can sell tons of these you just know how to do the targeting after i created this and then of course the trust badges after i created this i created the facebook page for it literally again very very branded I just had the, the product as my, my profile picture, and then I made this, and this kind of went viral too. 2.2 million people reach, 38,000 views, 7.5 thousand comments, and 7,000 shares. Again, this is what happens when you sell a really cool product that not many people have seen before, like a really attractive, sexy product. It's gonna go viral, especially if you know what you're doing with the targeting, and luckily I got comments like this right away. Yes, got mine a few days ago. Great quality, looks great by my Arnold Autograph Commando pick. So this can be very important too. You can fake it if you want. It really depends on how ethical you wanna be. I didn't fake this, but what I did do was filter through the comments. Like you can go into the settings. I can't do it right now because I don't have any Wi-Fi. But in my other videos, I teach how you can do that. You can filter, you can remove reviews, which is the first thing you should be doing when you're doing a thing like this. You can go into the settings, page moderation, and then you can filter it, filter out words. And then you can also go into the page tabs and then just remove, remove reviews altogether, which is what I did right here. So after I built all this, I wanted to get the traffic. So I messaged Josh and I go, hey, how much would you charge for a link under your tweet? And he goes, what would you be linking to? And I go, my store, lent it. And he goes, did you just set this up? And I said, yep. And he goes, genius. And I go, oh, I didn't see the just. Cause at this point I didn't want him like copying what exactly what I did and then him taking all the money. Uh, I didn't see the just, I, I, I set it up a bit ago with organic promo. Ah, so now he thinks I'm the actual owner of this case that he just posted about. Crazy how it took off. I offered him $100 uh, just to replace his current response with a link to my store. He said $200 and then we got a deal. So he did that. Unfortunately, on the actual tweet, if we go back to it, it looks like Twitter themselves took it down. So 
this happened recently. Again, this is why I'm making this video because I'm giving up on this product. I'm just moving on. But the tweet's unavailable, but it got a good reaction, like uh, like a couple hundred likes, and I was getting tons of sales from them. And after that, next, I launched a Google ad campaign. I don't have Wi-Fi right now. It's really simple. Like I didn't have any Google ads trainings before here. You just come right here, get more uh, website sales. Now, one of the, here's, another, here's the first mistake I made. When I launched my Google ads, I, it was, I knew it was doing well because uh, at the beginning I was barely putting anything into Facebook ads and I was just doing Google ads and the Twitter and it was going off, but I didn't integrate the conversion code into my store, which you can easily do on Shopify. Just YouTube, how to integrate conversion on Shopify easy. Make sure you put easy because it's really simple. You don't have to go into the coding. You can just go into the settings of Shopify. So I didn't do that and I was just throwing $10 a day at it. And all I did was put terms like Arnold Schwarzenegger iPhone case, Arnold Schwarzenegger iPhone 11 Max iPhone case, Arnold iPhone case, any of that. So when people were searching those terms, like I'd be right at the top. So I got a lot of sales from that. I did integrate the conversion two weeks ago and I was getting $8 a purchase. So it was pretty good. And then after I did that, I went on to Facebook. And since I wanted that original post to actually take off, what I did was I only filtered it to Facebook feed news I'm sorry, Facebook news feeds, mobile only, and then here's the kicker. This is actually new. I actually just changed this because I was about to launch some new ads and said, fuck this video, but I decided to make this video anyway and just give up on the product just because of this, which I'm gonna get to in a second, and this is a mistake you can learn from myself. So this is new. This actually came out this week where you can now target people with iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Maxes. When you do this on mobile, it's only gonna, that ad's only gonna show up on iPhone 11 Pros and iPhone 11 Pro Maxes. So this can be super, super powerful. Like, feel free to try this product if you want. I just personally don't like it anymore because it is trademark. You're using uh, a movie scenes clip and you're using Arnold Schwarzenegger's name and likeness. But uh, just for full transparency, what I actually did was I went through, I did um, all iPhones and then I filtered it through 12.3 and above. So then, in order, like every iPhone 11 Pro and Pro Max had to have at least uh, iOS 13. So that was like kind of a workaround. It still showed up on a lot of iPhones that didn't qualify. But now if I were to launch this right now, I would definitely do 11 and 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. But I can't do that right now. Again, if any of you guys wanna try this, go feel free to, to do it. I'm not getting into this product anymore. I got other fish to fry. So in total, I made 33,825 off of this. Uh, I started scaling Facebook ads really heavy around here. I started October 4th, I did 140 in the first day. That's when I contacted the guy and started getting sales immediately. And then I started launching Facebook ads, looks like the seventh and the eighth and started scaling hard. So, and then I just, and then I haven't launched a Facebook ad since here. So I, look, I mean, just with a $10 a day Google ad and that tweet, I was making 316 a day, about 300 a day and about, you know, two to 300 a day for a while. And now I'm making about $100 a day on this just from the organic SEO and Google AdWords. Here is one of my biggest mistakes too. Profit margins, everything. So when I started this, before I started launching my Facebook ads, I was getting like, you know, ridiculous. Like if you guys found me on Instagram, it was like 60, 70% profit margin and it was perfect. So I started scaling Facebook ads really heavily and that's when I started, like Facebook ads did great for the first couple of weeks, but then about after about, a, about two or three weeks in, it really started dipping down and I lost like four or 5,000 my last week before I shut it off. So my total profit in this entire thing in the 20 days, well, it, that's, well, in the 20 days, but this is like a lot of profit right here. But in these 20 days, uh, I, think I, I think it was like just under 2,000. I am gonna be completely honest about that. It was just under 2,000. And then I probably made like another thousand here. So my total profit around here was about $3,000, which is pretty good for just, you know, a month. Like I, I, it literally took me one hour to build this website and barely anything to manage it. If I could go back, I would just would have never launched Facebook ads. Maybe it was because I couldn't target iPhone 11 Maxes like purely. I'm not going to anymore because my score is 1.3. It's it's my my delivery is getting hindered right now, so it's not even worth it to me to even try to go back revive it. If you guys want to, you can. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm not gonna compete against you. I'm just done with this product because it can't be sourced on Silk Road. And when it can't be sourced on Silk Road, especially nowadays, it seems every fucking AliExpress supplier sucks and they take forever to ship. And then that's why my score got 1.3. 
However, here's another big mistake. This is the third mistake I made on this product. When I started it, I didn't come to this link. This link, if you just Google my name or YouTube my name, Scott Hilsey, Facebook ad score, you'll find the link to get to this page where it shows like all your pages scores and whatnot, but most importantly, you can set delivery speed. And since I, my fucking Wi-Fi is so, so shitty down here, I can't show you, but all you gotta do is click set delivery. Okay, there we go. Set delivery speed, and this is the first thing you should do eight weeks. So it doesn't give them a, the survey for eight weeks. So at least your, your score isn't even gonna be affected for minimum eight weeks from the first purchase. So that gives you a lot of time to work out the kinks and everything because the score is very important. That's why I use Silk Road so much because it's such faster shipping, such faster processing time um, so quickly. Uh, and I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about that a lot, but when I don't use Silk Road, this happens every time. The product's doing well, and then they start to throttle my Facebook ads, which is why it started becoming unprofitable and why I'm just done with this. Like my whole page is tainted now. Uh, I really can't even run ads without it just being horrible. And I really don't feel like, you know, building a whole new web, uh, building a whole new domain, a whole new Facebook ad page and everything. I'm just done with it. So if I could go back and redo all of this, I would have kept it with Google AdWords and that tweet only because Google AdWords, it makes sense. It's only being shown to people who are literally out there searching for this product because the product was going viral. Like there's articles written about that and the, these articles that were written about it embedding that tweet into their websites. And so when that tweet's getting embedded into the websites, people click the tweet and when they click the tweet, they see it's a funnel to my website and I only paid this guy 200 bucks to, to make $33,000 essentially off of it and Google ads and all that. But a lot of that, initial data and initial traffic came from paying that guy $200. So this is just an example of how you guys can get really creative with the marketing. It's not just about Facebook ads. It's not even just about Google AdWords, but it's really all about branded one product drop shipping stores. And when you're selling a product that is on a trend right now, like kind of on a, like a wave, this is the smartest way to do it. You, you can try Facebook ads. If it goes well, it goes well, but really, it's about profit margin and your profit margins on a trendy product that people are actively searching for should mainly come from the most viral content that is talking about it as well as your Google ads that are only being shown to people who are actively searching for it on Google because chances are something's going viral, especially a product people are searching for. Cause that when I saw this, that's how I got the idea. I saw it and I'm like, Oh, I'm getting the iPhone 11. Let me search it. And I searched Arnold Schwarzenegger iPhone case. And I'm like, aha, this can be a winning product right here. And then real quickly, basically the way I targeted it was I did a lot of worldwide. I did worldwide broad. Basically I did, did this. I targeted the United States and worldwide only and I used the same targeting for both. So I did like worldwide broad and this is all with the iPhone 12.3 firmware and up. Now it, it would be an iPhone 11 Pro plus and up. But I did worldwide broad. I did worldwide Arnold Schwarzenegger, worldwide Terminator, World War, worldwide Skynet, and then worldwide bodybuilding. Like I just started testing all the suggestions under Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I did about eight of those, and I did eight in the same United States. Uh, United States broad, United States Arnold Schwarzenegger, da 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 da. United States like sold way more than the worldwide did. So I mainly just went with the United States. And yeah, I, I'm trying to show you how to do it on Google Ads step by step since not many people talk about Google ads, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi is really shitty right here. So I'm, I'm just gonna make a Google ads video um, later whenever they upgrade this. Get creative when you're finding these products. Don't just try to sell some bland stuff through Facebook ads. Like you can see that this, this kind of thing works too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the description below. If you could hit like and subscribe for me, I'd love that. Like bare minimum because the likes help the algorithm or whatever. And yeah, thank you so much. Peace.